In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to calculate multiple linear regression using SPSS. I'm going to estimate GPA. And I'm going to have variables IQ and steady time. These are going to be my dependent and independent variables. In the end, I want to know what GPA depends upon. And I'm going to look at two variables, IQ and study time, and try to understand how that impacts these two variables impact GPA. I'm going to develop three equations. The first one is going to be based upon IQ and study time. The second one, just IQ, and the third one will be just study time. I'm also going to show you how you can use the data from SPSS to make a Pearson correlation matrix. I'm going to input my data into SPSS just like I did. Let's go show you. I have GPA, IQ, my dependent, and my independent variables. Students also, I'm going to put a column for student. I don't need that, but I'm going to put it there as a placeholder. So I start out in SPSS in the data view. And I start inputting my variable name, which I'm going to input student first. Then I'm going to input GPA, then IQ, and finally study time in hours. I'm also going to change the decimal places for student, it would be zero decimal places. For GPA, one decimal place. For IQ, zero decimal places. And also study time, zero decimal places. Now I'll move over to the measure and I'll change student to nominal. And the rest will be scales. Because that's their numbers. Now I click data view and I'll input some data. I'm just going to input a little bit of it to show you how it's done. I just type the one. And I type a GPA and I type in 1.0. IQ is 110 and study time 8 hours. I'll put in another one. Two GPA of 1.6. 1 IQ of 112 and study time of 10 hours. I'm not going to bore you with typing in a bunch of data, but this is what the final data set looks like. Now I will click on Analyze, Regression, and Linear. So again, Analyze, Regression, and Linear. My dependent variable is GPA, and my independent variables are IQ and study time. There's a ton of options in SPSS. There's a lot of different statistics. There's a lot of different plots you can do. I would encourage you to leave all the defaults alone for now and then come back and experiment. Make sure they're all set like I have them set here. And I'll click OK. And here you go. There's the results right here. I'm only going to focus in on two of the tables, which is Model Summary and coefficients. There are four items in the model summary, and the first item is R. Then we also have R square, adjusted R square, and finally standard error, the estimate. I'm going to use the coefficient table to build the equation. So my estimated GPA, that's why I put a little hat on top of it, is equal to 0 0.049 times IQ plus 0.118 times study time minus 5.249. And that's my equation. That's my regression equation. The negative 5. 0.249 is the constant.
let me go back to SPSS and click regression linear and I'm going to take off steady time as one of my independent variables that leaves me one independent variable IQ and here's my output just the IQ is my predictor GPA is equal to 0 0.074 times IQ minus 7.006 also I calculated the R squared which is 0.732 now I will compare these results to the model when I had two independent variables IQ and study time and I'll bring in also the model summary and look at the R squared with one independent variable of IQ the R squared is 0.732 when I add the second independent variable of study time the R squared increases to 0.910 Notice that the standard error of the estimate, which is 0.4338 with one variable, drops to 0.2654, lower is better, with two variables. So the equation improves. So in the end, it's better to have the two independent variables versus the one independent variable of IQ. Now, let me go back to SPSS. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back to regression linear oops and linear and here I am going to unselect IQ and add back in the independent variable study time and click OK and now I have the results of just one variable of study time and I'll look at those GPA is estimated to equal 0.192 times study time plus 0 0.098 that's with just one variable study time the R squared is equal to 0.687 and the R squared of both variables is 0 0.910 also the standard or the estimate with one variable of study time is higher than the two variables having two independent variables now I will compare one independent variable study time with one independent variable IQ. R squared is less with study time versus IQ. 0.687 compared to 0.732. Also, standard error the estimate is a little higher with just study time than it is with just IQ. 0.4691 compared to 0.4338. So IQ is a better predictor of GPA. I don't know if this is true or not, but it's a better predictor of GPA than study time. And finally, I'm going to talk about Pearson correlation matrix, Pearson, or the Pearson R. And that goes from a negative 1 to 1. And again, I have other playlists that talk about the Pearson R, so I'm not going to go into detail about it here. Across the top of the matrix, you'll see the independent variables of IQ and study time typically that's how it's laid out and along the vertical axis IQ study time GPA are dependent variables actually I should make those green as well because I'm going to pretend like they're dependent variables I'm trying to predict those so the relationship between IQ to IQ of course is one IQ predicts IQ pretty well I don't know why that's in tables they just put it there IQ predicts study time, and that Pearson R is going to be 0 0.560, and that's where that comes from right there. And you're thinking, where did that come from? And so let me just show you that real quick. So I click Analyze, Regression, Linear. And what I do now is I take away that dependent variable of GPA and instead I make it IQ. So what I'm saying is how does study time predict IQ? And then in a second I'll click OK. And that's what gives me the last table we were looking at. Now when GPA is a dependent variable and IQ is the only independent variable, the Pearson R is 0.856. And it comes from that model summary table. So when study time is both the dependent and independent variable, don't know why they put it in tables, but they do. 
it's going to be 1. Just live with it, I guess. It's just 1. And when study time is the independent variable and the dependent variable is GPA, the R is 0.829. And that comes from the model summary table. Right there. So you can make a Pearson correlation matrix with the output from SPSS. So as usual, share the knowledge, share the love. Like us on Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. Questions and comments below. Make it a favorite. Share it with your buddies and friends. Ease their pain. If you like it, they will come. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm always posting new things.